I'm Peter Bruninger. I'm here with Dr. Roland Goder from Goder Acoustic. Hello. Hello, Mr. Bruninger. Nice to meet you in, in Munich. <laughs> Good to meet you too. The viewers will love, love you talking about your new speaker. You have a statement product here at the show this year. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it and its design goal. Okay. Uh, just uh, what you see here is uh, our system called Berlina RC11. And the Berliner is a series which we produce in our hometown close to Stuttgart. And Berlina uh, means the construction of the cabinet. We use uh, not a normal construction, but we use single ribs, which are stacked one over the other, uh, with dampers in between, just to create a cabinet. And this is a completely new kind of making loudspeaker cabinet and all these single ribs have no uh, contact to each other and so there is no vibration mode of the whole cabinet and we have a oh. cabinet that's absolutely acoustically dead. Okay, what we're looking at here are the ribs, so these yes. do not come in contact with each other. No. What's the material of the rib itself? The rib is uh, made of uh, MDF mm -hmm. and a special one which is a bit uh, heavier than normal and all the single ribs are uh, produced by a big, big melting machine and uh, uh, each one is uh, produced separately, each one is uh, varnished separately mm -hmm. with piano finish and then we stack it one over the other mm -hmm. and the whole construction is held by six bars which are inside of these ribs. How tall is the loudspeaker? It's two meter and two. Uh, I just have to calculate how much it is in inch, but I think you can read it in our on our website. Yes, it's, it looks on the seven foot. Data. Good seven foot. I'd say. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, it's about yes. seven foot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. How tall are you? I am uh, one meter eighty-seven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, this is a big speaker. It is a very big speaker. What and does it weigh? And, uh, the weight is two hundred and thirty kilograms, so it's that's about five hundred uh, pounds. Is it modular when it when you put it together, uh, or how does how do you assemble this? Is this three different separate units? Yes, uh, there, this is uh, done in three separate units, and then we uh, just uh, make the whole construction one after the other and put it together. But uh, it's transported as one, so we don't do not disassemble it at the customer's place. Mm -hmm. We just ship it mm -hmm. as one. Mm -hmm. in a special construction made for transport of the Berliners. Mm -hmm. It's very easy then and uh, if you buy a, a RC11 also in the USA, we come to you and we just make the installation at your home room mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, make it sure that the sound is perfect. Because uh, uh, I have an uh, opinion that uh, all the producers are really responsible for the sound of their products at the home. And for uh, smaller speakers, it's not possible to do it, but for big speakers, it's a must, I think. And so I just take care of the sound at your home when you buy such a big speaker in our company. And it, it often has shown the problem that there are resonances in the rooms of the customers mm -hmm. due to, to, to low damping or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, in all our speakers, you can get a separate single filter inside, which corresponds to resonances of your room. So you get a flat frequency response also in the bass. Uh, there is no reason anymore to build a loudspeaker with high efficiency because high efficiency means that you have to concentrate the energy in front and then you lose transparency because uh, we have learned in uh, <coughs> uh, many investigations all over the years that the human ear needs lateral uh, reflections. If you, for example, if you listen to such a speaker or any speaker in a, uh, <coughs> in a, a, a dead, damned room, then it sounds terrible. A normal speaker sounds terrible in an, an anechoic chamber. We need uh, reflections from the side to get transparency. Because if we have only one uh, wave front uh, uh, detected by the ear, we just make a localization of the, of the source, but not a frequency uh, <coughs> analysis. And so we need a second, a third, a fourth wave front coming from the side to get the transparency, the openness, the clarity of sound. And therefore, if we concentrate our energy like this, you never get transparent sound. But if you talk like this, it's totally different. And so we just look for a big, big dispersion of the speaker mm -hmm. to uh, make a very wide angle mm -hmm. dispersion 
of trans and then you get a transparent sound. Mm -hmm. And of course, if I radiate all the energy into the room, then I have a low efficiency in one meter. But if I make it like that, like a horn driver, then of course all my energy is reflected and driven to this one point. Mm -hmm. So I have a high efficiency, but uh, we are not in the, in the year 1960. We do not have <laughs> I, I tube amplifiers with three or four watts anymore. Yeah, that's right. We have digital amplifiers, we have transistor amps, we have even tube amplifiers, which have such high power now. You see, there are many companies now which are building tube amplifiers with 200, 300 watts. And so this is totally enough to create a high volume in your home. We do not need to make a compromise due to efficiency. Efficiency means nothing. And as a physicist, you learn if you have high efficiency, you have a terrible sound. Well, the sound that we heard at the prior demo several minutes ago was very smooth. It had good off-axis response. It had a lot of inner detail. It is a show setting. You don't have it optimized like you can in your home. Uh, it's one of the, so far to me, to my ears, one of the better, if not the best sound I've heard so far today at uh, the show, the high-end show here in Munich. Uh, I want to thank you very much, uh, Doctor, for your time and explaining the new Berlin loudspeaker. How long has it been on market? Uh, it's now one and a half years on the market. And uh, if uh, you have uh, been interested now in this product, I also have a, a, a video on YouTube Good. where I explain all the things inside because there are many more things. We have we use filters of more than 60 dB per octave. We use a symmetrical frequency crossover. So these are many points which we have not discussed yet, Good. which are also make uh, it unique, this, this product unique. And so Good. Uh, if you're in the mood and uh, want to get more information, then you can look on our video on YouTube. There you go. Uh, viewers, uh, check it out. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Goddard from Gauder Acoustic, the Berliner RC11 reference level loudspeaker. Thank you, sir. And um, just one uh, additional info. Uh, we used to carry the name, the brand name Isophone till last year, but this year we have changed, but that's all we changed. The brand name changed, everything else stays the same. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you.